Are you late to class? Yeah. Oh, man. Are, are you late? Uh, no, I got lunch. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Why aren't you late for lunch, though? Um, because my locker, you're in front of it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what is this for? Uh, it's a video about being on time. <laughs> wow. Are you, are you guys on we time? Need to be nice. We got, we, I have lunch. <laughs> okay. Isn't lunch the other way? Yeah. I mean, yeah, but, you know, I got to get my lunch. Gotcha. Hi, can you tell me your thoughts about being on time? Like, do you think it's important? Um, yeah, I think it's really important on time, especially for school, because you can't be missing any minute of class, because every minute in class is very important, especially if the teacher is teaching something, then you have to pay attention. Uh, yeah, I think um, being on time is pretty important. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why do you think it's important? Because it depends on the situation. It can help with, like, jobs and stuff like that in the future. It's just okay. To, it's better to be on time than to be late because you miss stuff. Um, yes, I really think it's super important to be on time. You know, we're here for a reason. And, you know, that reason is to be in school, learn, and get to class on time. That's our job. Because if you're not on time, you can miss something very important that's going to be beneficial to you in the future. I think it's an important life skill, uh, whether that be in a place of employment or, you know, in college um, or even in life. Like if I'm going to take a train downtown, it's going to leave at a certain time whether I'm there or not. So I have to kind of adjust to expectations. In a, t in a 2008 Texas University study, it was shown that people who woke up early got a better GPA and earned better grades and soon later on show to have better careers than people who were typically night owls. What do you feel about that? Like, do you think it's true? Do you think people should listen to it more? Um, I think it is true because it's very important to um, rest and have, like, full energy for school because, like, in school you have to pay a lot of attention and have a lot of focus. So I think people should be paying attention to that. In 2008 research, it was discovered that morning people earn higher GPAs and got better career opportunities. What do you think about that? Uh, I think, I mean, it sounds like it could be true. I mean, I'm not a morning person, so I don't know, but it sounds like it could be like true. That's pretty interesting because I have an early bird class. I get up super early. I'm barely late to my classes. You know, that's pretty cool to hear about. <laughs> And do you see a difference between classmates that are on time versus those that aren't, like grade-wise, attitude? Yes, I see a difference in attitude, mostly. Uh, tiresome, maybe slumped, not paying attention. Uh, yeah, I do notice that um, many of the kids who are always on time, they always have their um, the work done first, and they're always, like, the ones that focus more and the ones that always come in late they interrupt the class and they're like usually like the class clowns and they don't pay attention so um a little bit probably don't really notice like that but uh you know students that are on time usually do their work usually like or focused on on like the task at hand students are usually late all the time don't really care about what's happening in class um i don't want to stereotype students but i think that Kids that are repeatedly in class on time tend to do better off academically. Um, and I hope that the kids that struggle to get to class are trying to figure out some ways to fix that and not be continually tardy. And why do you think the students, or you if you're ever late, why do you think they're late? Um, depending on who the student is, it could mean like if they're late, they could not care about the class, or it could be because of personal reasons. Social, social interaction, um, probably, uh, you know, just them not caring, probably. I mean, even those who, uh, who care, they might just, like, lose, like, lose their um, track on what's going to be happening. You know, they might uh, get distracted. <laughs> you know? um, I think people are late usually because they oversleep or, like, 
again they sleep late and sometimes people just don't care like they don't think that being on time is really that important i just think that's what it is okay thank you <laughs> and do you have any tips on how to arrive on time and just like improve your schedule in general well i always set my alarm clock earlier than it needs to be set in the morning to give myself cover that if i need to hit the snooze button i still will be on time <laughs> um and if I was a student, I think I would kind of map my day out because if I have a long journey that I have to make between second period and third period, uh, I might need to get my books for third period and take them with me to second period so that I don't have to make that stop uh, that might cause a delay. Um, strategic locker stop planning, uh, strategic restroom planning. Uh, even as an adult when I was a teacher, there were certain times during the day that I might need to go and I just had to deal with it for an hour or two. Um, so pr prioritizing classroom time as the first priority is probably the best suggestion. Okay, thank you. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you.